Welcome to this quick demonstration of Obsidian Xcolid Draw 1.6.16. The flagship new feature in this version is the Tools panel. You can access it by clicking the Obsidian icon in the toolbar. On the panel, you will find actions from the Command Palette, from the More Options menu, and also each of your installed scripts from the Xcolid Draw Scripts library will get an icon here. If you want to run one of the actions, you can simply click on it, like here, to search for a text. And the search for text is then executed. It's quite straightforward. About handling this panel. So you can see that I can drag the panel wherever I want to put it. As well as if I single click on the top, then the panel will collapse. And another single click will open the panel. When you're on a mobile device, you should press and hold the top of the panel and then drag. Otherwise, you're going to be activating the Obsidian slide-in menus. By the way, this is also a feature. So if you're using it on a mobile device, you can swipe on the tools panel and that is going to open up the command palette and the slide-in panels. Each of the buttons on the panel has a tooltip. Also, each of the buttons for the scripts has the name of the script. If you want to see the tooltip on a mobile device, then you should long press on the button. And by long pressing the button at the bottom of the screen, the tooltip will appear. So you have access to the tooltips on your mobile device as well. Also, speaking about mobile devices, the new feature is that I have full screen mode now working on a mobile device. You can activate full screen by pressing this button and then you can collapse or close full screen with the same button. To have all of these icons for your scripts, you will need to reinstall the scripts from the script library. So all you need to do is you'll need to click here, open up the script library and scroll down. Right now I have all the scripts installed, but you will see the green buttons here that you can press to reinstall the scripts. So that's about the tools panel. The other new feature here is something by the Xcolid Draw team, and that is the scaling sticky notes. So until now, when I had a sticky note and I was scaling it, then the text size remained the same and the size of the sticky note changed. Now, if I hold down the shift while I resize, then you can see that the text increases or the text size increases with the movement. The other feature I want to highlight here is the SVG export. So now if you create an SVG export, then that export is going to include uh, links uh, in the export. So you can export image maps. As well, you will notice that I have an integrated release notes window that pops up when you start a new version of Xcolid Draw. If you don't want this, you can go to settings and you can simply disable this feature. This is the very first uh, feature on the Xcolid Draw settings tab. And also, if you want to read the release notes at a later time, you can always open up the tools panel. And here you can click on the release notes button and then the release note window will pop up. And then there are a couple of fixes in this release, and there are two important fixes. I think the shift drag is the most important one. So on Mac, I understand that Apple doesn't want you to use the control button or the command button while dragging because that's reserved for some Mac specific feature. So now you can also hold down the shift button and drop the object and then the image is going to be or the file is going to be embedded. So now the shift drag uh, solves this problem on Macs. And as well, I did some small performance improvement 
I had some feedback about the search performance, so I made some changes to the file format. I think it is not uh, that uh, important to detail out what that was. And finally, I uh, just want to let you know if you're a developer and you develop scripts, the way the icons work here, so you can see that this, I this script uh, doesn't have an icon, but all of these scripts have. So what you need to do to have an icon for a script is to have an SVG file with exactly the same name as your script, but with an SVG extension ex instead of an MD extension. So for example, add link to existing file and open. This is the script itself and this is the icon. It's a transparent icon and I think if you're interested, you can look at the icons from the script store uh, to learn how these icons work. So that's my quick summary of the new features in Obsidian Xcolid Draw 1.6.16. I hope you like them and please let me know if you have any feedback or if there are any features that you would like to develop in the future. Thank you.